All right, hello. I am going to show you how to put your product design onto the bus stop. Um, it's really simple, and there's lots of ways to do this, but I'm just going to show you the simplest way uh, because with remote learning, everything is a lot harder to show. So I think I want to go with the simple way right now. I think it's the best. So first thing you want to do is you want to download that file, both files off of our class website for the um, bus stop and the billboard. Once you have those downloaded, you're going to have it here. I'm going to have mine on my desktop. I'm going to open this bus stop. I can either open it by pulling it onto my dock of my Photoshop, or I can just in Photoshop here say file and open. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open the bus stop and just say open here in Photoshop, and there it is. And the next thing I wanna do is I wanna bring my actual artwork. So for you guys, this would be your product design for your billboard or your um, bus stop. You wanna pull that right on top there. So I'm gonna use this image here. Um, that was made by, um, oh, what's his name? Thomas uh, Wimberly for uh, staying safe and wearing a mask. So I'm gonna pull this right on top. So now you can see here I have two layers and this layer that I just pulled in is still actively uh, manipulable because it has this X on here and you can see it has not been placed yet. So I'm just gonna click check mark or enter either way and that will place the image onto there. Now you can see it's way too big, but I'm gonna size that down. But I'm gonna do it in the simplest way possible. And what I'm just gonna do here is I am just going to go up to image, sorry, edit and perspective warp. Now, as long as this um, layer is selected, you will be able to perspective warp this image. So I'm just gonna close this. I'm gonna drag this box over that image there, okay? And now I'm going to say warp at the top. You see up here at the top, I am gonna to say warp. Once I push warp, I can now, you see that little pin, I can now move the corners of this image. So it's telling me the steps here, and that's helpful if you wanna do it that way, that's fine. But I'm gonna close this because I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So I'm gonna pull this corner down, and you can see what's happening. It's really distorting it. But once we start putting all four corners in place, you will see, and there we go. And I'm gonna try my best to make it as accurate as possible. And that's pretty good. And I'm just going to say, okay, with the check mark here. Now, we're done. If you feel like your edges look messy and you'd like to put a frame on top of your image, you could do that. It's the same exact steps. Um, you just use the rectangle tool over here in your toolbar. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to pull a rectangle over as close as I can to where that black border would fall. Now, I, once I let go of that, it's gonna bring up my properties and I'm gonna need to readjust here because I want my stroke to be black and I want my fill to be nothing. So I gotta set those two. And then I'm gonna also set the width of that black border and I'm just looking at it over here. That's actually pretty good. And I'm gonna let that go, okay? Now, the last thing I need to do to that is I need to actually do a the same kind of perspective warp on that box that I did on the image. But I have one thing I have to do first, and that is my layers here. If I look in my layers, I'm gonna pull them back up here. If I look in my layers, you can see that this rectangle is a smart object right now. That's what that little icon means. So I need to rasterize that first, and then I can do the perspective warp. Uh, because if you see right now, it won't, won't let me do the perspective warp right now. So all I need to do is go to layer, and rasterize shape. So I'm gonna rasterize that shape. Now is ready to go. All I have to do now is go to edit, perspective warp. I'm gonna drag this box on top of this rectangle again, just like I did before. Push warp again, just like I did before. And move these corners just like I did before. And this time it's going to create a frame of sorts because 
this layer is on top of the artwork layer. And I can always check the order of my layers. Over here, I can see that this is on top of my other layers there. So once I set this to where I feel like it's good, I'm going to do the check mark and say OK. And bing, bang, boom, I'm done, ready to go. And I am then going to go ahead and save this. So file, save as. And I'm going to save this as a Photoshop document and as a JPEG. Because remember, I want you to turn in both formats so that I can see your layers and what you did in Photoshop. And I can also see the JPEG in the Google Classroom. And then you're going to also put just the JPEG in the Padlet so everybody else can see it and give you feedback. Okay? Thank you. Good luck.